Gather the following ingredients to make homemade jalapeno and wine venison summer sausage. Obtain one and a half inch by 12 inch fibrous casings. Soak the casings in water. They will need to soak for at least an hour. Start by grinding eight pounds of venison and five pounds of pork butt. Measure out the following dry ingredients. Four tablespoons of pickling salt. One and a half tablespoons of coarse ground black pepper. One tablespoon of ground red pepper. Three and a half tablespoons of ground coriander. Two tablespoons of whole mustard seed. Three and a half tablespoons of brown sugar. And four teaspoons of Morton Tender Quick. Set aside and prepare your jalapeno peppers. Use four fresh medium-sized jalapenos. Remove the stems and the seeds. I recommend wearing gloves while you do this. Add the seeded peppers and one large clove of garlic to a blender. Pour in one cup of water and blend. Next, pour in one and three quarter cup of your favorite sweet red wine. Pour in the dry ingredients and blend until the seasonings have been dissolved. In a meat mixer, add your ground venison and ground pork. Mix the two meats together thoroughly and then add your blended seasonings. Once the seasoning has been worked into the meat, you can then add your favorite high temp cheese. I prefer pepper jack for this particular sausage. Continue to mix until the cheese is worked throughout the meat mixture. Next, transfer the meat to a sausage stuffer. Load the sausage horn with a pre-soaked fibrous casing. Stuff the casing with the meat mixture. I recommend having help for this. It's a lot easier and more efficient with two people. Fill each casing till it's almost full. You'll want to leave a little casing at the end so you can easily tie it off. To secure the end clothes, I like to use hog rings. If you don't have hog rings, you can always use butcher's twine to tie it off. Gather the sausage links and hang in a dry, cool area. Allow them to cure for at least 12 to 24 hours. Once cured, hang the sausage links in a smoker. Make sure they do not touch each other. I recommend placing a thermometer probe in one of the links. The sausages will be done when the internal temperature reaches 155 to 160 degrees. I smoke with hickory wood. The amount of smoke you give it and the type of wood you use is your personal preference. Once the sausages are done, shower with cold water to cool them off quickly. Once cooled, wrap in freezer paper and store in the freezer until ready to eat.